I'll give you my pick. Let's go, Edmonton. Sir. Edmonton. Oh, and I think Edmonton's going to do it. Oh, McDavid, yeah. McDavid has to win a cup at some point. Why not this year? Yeah. Did you hear that? There was audible disgust from two people. <laughs> Look, I, I mean, I don't really want to see it either, but he's got to win one. He's got to win one. Oh. And right at their peak, him, him and Dreisaitl's peak. But also in the chat right now, we got uh, Critter talking about the Leafs. We'll, we'll bring up the Leafs out. Maybe the we'll Leafs. Maybe, yeah, we should talk about the Leafs. Yeah, maybe we will. the Leafs, please. Let's, let's finish no. with Edmonton, though. We need to talk about Edmonton. No, All right. Said that. Oh, there's... No. I don't think so. There's, a, I, there's only two people to talk about. It's McDavid and Drysaddle. And the question is, exactly. can they, can they, can they carry them? That's the can issue. they carry them? No. Yes. No, they won't. You want to know why they won't well, Crosby, carry them? Hey, Crosby and Malkin did it in Pittsburgh. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Crosby and Malkin had the tank. Like, they had other players. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And they had Kessel. Let's not. Yeah. No, this, I'm talking about whoa. the 09. I'm talking about 09. Okay. Oh, when well, they were young. League, when they were on the come up. Yeah. Different league. And they weren't getting as many points. I think it's an easier no, league for they, Dry Settle and they McDavid also to carry had, now. They also had Jordan Stahl when he Jordan Stahl was Jordan Stahl. Like, they had True. good players True. around Jordan there. Stahl. And like, they, had, they had other good players. They had James Neal. Bro, you're forgetting James Neal. Neal came, Neal came later. Neal oh, yeah. wasn't on that 09. Well, then, uh, he was, he it was, was Mark Brecky was on that team then. Yes. And Hoso. No, Hoso was on that team. Hoso wasn't there. there. Uh, yeah. oh. But no, it was Mark Recchi, Uh And they had, had Flurry too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Pittsburgh Flurry. was so a little better. They're well, a much better team. They don't have Koskinen in, in their net. I'm sorry. To, I love but, Mike Smith. I have but no... arguably, Dreisaitl and McDavid right now are better than Malkin and Crosby were then, yes, arguably. I agree, but here's the issue with that. The league will never let them win the way it's structured. It, they're never going to win. You want to know why? The refs. The refs never call a penalty against Connor McDavid in the playoffs. He's never going to draw a penalty. He hasn't drawn. He didn't draw one last year. He didn't draw one the year before. I think he's drawn the least amount of penalties in the playoffs from a player of that caliber in a long time. He just doesn't draw penalties. We yeah. saw him got tackled by Kyle Connor. We saw him get tripped by a guy into the boards. And then the other guy picks the puck, goes the other way. We see mm. everything. He gets slashed, hooked, tackled to the ice by two players on Winnipeg. Not a single call was drawn by McDavid. It doesn't matter. They don't care. The refs don't care about him. The league doesn't care about him. Yeah. They just use him for clout, and they don't care if he wins. They don't care. It is what it is. They want. They the league wants the rough team to win. That's just how it works in the playoffs. Until they call the game the same in the regular season and the playoffs. You're rarely ever going to see the team that has the most skill win the cup. And that's why Tampa's built so well. They have the skill and the grit. They have the, they have the Corey Perrys. They have the Pat Maroons. And even to a certain extent, Braden Point, they have the, and Anthony Sorelli. They, they have those players who are going to win the battles and be dirty. And they have the players who can score. The Oilers have the guys who can score on the power play and who can score pretty well at five on five. But when the game starts becoming a crapshoot as to what's being called, the Oilers aren't built to win. They're just not. Yeah. So that's my issue. Until the refs change the way they call the game to be the same in the playoffs and regular season, the Edmonton Oilers are never winning a cup. With McDavid and Crosby. Uh, McDavid and Dryside. Unless they get Crosby and Stankos and stack this squad <laughs> up. Like, they're not or a better defenseman behind them. Like, Darnell Nurse is getting there, and he's kind of there. But he's not that offensive elite guy. He's a really good shutdown guy, but he needs someone more yeah. consistent than Tyson Berry at 5-on-5. Five five. I mean, and goaltending. Koskinen lets in the worst goals I've ever seen. This guy can take a fluttering wrist shot and let it look, make it look like a, a sniper. Like I, don't, like, I don't know what to tell you guys. Unless Mike Smith can play otherworldly like he can sometimes, even despite being like 42, this guy's a legend. I love Mike Smith. But they need someone They need someone else. It's not Stuart Skinner. Yeah. It's not it yet. Evan Bouchard's not quite there in terms of right-handed puck-moving guy for Darnell Nurse. They need, they need something. I don't know what... Maybe they can go after Jeff Petrie again from Montreal and get him healthy and ready to go. Like he'd look good there. Maybe they can go after Jake Allen from Montreal. Like Jake Allen's looked what's hidden in this bad Montreal season. I mean, I'm talking from the Habs perspective, but like someone like Jake Allen, he's looked really good. Do you think of Jake Allen or Fleury or some other goalie to play? I think Edmonton has a chance. But right now, I'm sorry. Like they're not playoff. I don't know. I went on a tangent there. I apologize. But mm. it is what it is. And now let's move on to the Leafs. We'll move on to the Leafs. Ponchi, we'll start with you. Uh, where do you see the Leafs this year? Like, we'll end it after this, by the way. But 
Where do you see the Leafs? What's your stats on them? Are they a contender, pretender? What do you, what do you see them as? What do you, what, what's your what's your take? Um, well, like going off the trend, I don't see them making it out of the first. I want them to make it to the second. Me too. Sec. Like I want them to like like John Tavares. He, he got a little bit of hate. Fair enough. Long Island loser, pajama boy. You hate to see it, but. You know, he, he's got a good squad there in Toronto. You've got, like, Matthews. And I like Marner. I really like him. But, like, when you have more penalties for throwing the puck over the glass than points in the playoffs, it's not great. Like, yeah. we... And you held out for an 11 mil contract or something, like... Crazy. It's 10 and a half or Something ridiculous. Eight. It's 10. it's on the higher end. Yep. Like it's almost Eric Carlson money. It's ten point eight, I think, something around that. Ten point seven something. Oof. But yeah. Um and you know, the the playoffs are different, but still like you you asked for ten point eight. You gotta be playing with um you gotta be playing to that standard, not just in the regular season, but in the playoffs. No, I agree 100%. Yeah. And to build off what you said with Marner, it's the same thing I said about McDavid and Drysaddle. Like, I love mm -hmm. Marner. I love the way he plays. And I want that kind of player to win the cup. Like, I want the skilled players who are able to – like, Marner's able to be physical in a lot of ways. Like, he's not super heavy hitting, but, like, he's able to win puck battles. He's able to go in the corners and lift sticks and, and win those. Um, yeah. <laughs> Kev, saying a, Kev player in the chat seen the trade Marner. I, I would not do that. But – <laughs> Until the league changes the way they call the game to make it consistent. So regular season and playoffs, I want it to be consistent. I want to know what's a penalty. Until they call it properly, the Leafs aren't going to win either. Maybe, actually, well, the way the Leafs are built this year, I think they have a better chance than they did in the past because Marner is not the best. I think so, handle. too. But I think so, too. Like, Marner is not going to mm. be as effective in the playoffs as he is on the regular season. Um, it, just because of that alone, like he'll get tripped, he'll get slashed, he'll get hooked, and it won't go call. It won't get called. And then he'll stay to the outside. He'll get scared and stay to the outside. And that's happening against Montreal. I, like Montreal, I I will not even hide behind the fact that we won. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that Toronto was the better team. They deserve to win that series, but they just got beat yeah. up. They got beat up by Ben Sherrod and Shea Weber and Joel Edmondson and in some ways Jeff Petrie and Josh Anderson. They got beat up. And obviously, I think if Tavares doesn't get hurt, I think they probably win. Mm -hmm. And that's unfortunate. But you, know, you got to play through injuries, and I know what happens. Like, Montreal tried to play through Carey Price getting injured. That did not go well against the Rangers, funny enough. Um, but, you know, you got to play through those injuries. You still got to win through them, and they couldn't. And Montreal won by beating them up. That's what, that's just what happened. That's that's what we know happened. And now okay. Toronto's bolstered up. They got Wayne Simmons. They got some good guys down there. I like. I really love Michael Bunting as well. He's offers, he offers that grit. I think Andre Kasha's got a really good underrated skill as well. So I think Toronto, like if I didn't pick Tampa, I probably would pick Toronto or Washington. So I think yeah. I think Toronto is going to be really really good this year. And I, I my prediction for Toronto is they're going to win a round. Calling it now, they're breaking the curse. They're winning. I, I, I agree. I think they're going to get through. I think I hope so too. I'm knocking on wood. So Nick, what's what's your prediction for Toronto? Uh, I kind of uh, stole your I'm keeping an eye on chat here, and they're talking about uh, Price standing on his on his head he in did. that series, and he, he did. definitely he did. stood on his. Head. I oh, think yeah. Toronto oh, Toronto's perhaps. luck Toronto's luck has just been ridiculous. Like that running into that version of Price was just so tough for them because they had that series, they yeah. had it in the bag, done, and Price just said no. But that's but everyone yeah. knows that like that the same thing happened in the bubble with Pittsburgh. The only reason why they didn't do a best of three for the bubble like intro series, I don't know, like the you know what I mean, like the the round robin to get into like the, the play playoffs. Him. Yeah, the, the 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 NHL playoffs on the Stanley Cup playoffs, like the first that first round there, like where Montreal was against Pittsburgh. The reason why and the NHLPA brought this up in their reason as to why it has to be five and not three was Carey Price. They literally mentioned him by name. They said, look. We don't want a guy like Carey Price stealing a series by winning only two games. He can steal two games. But stealing three is much harder than stealing two, so they made a best of five instead of a best of three. He still stole three games because it's Carey Price. Carey Price. Um, <laughs> but uh, as a Habs fan, I love Carey Price. He's the best goal I've ever seen play. But anyway, the point is, um, 
they they had to make an exception because of Carey Price. So like I, I don't blame Toronto for losing to Montreal because Carey Price is just a freaking legend in the playoffs. Everyone knows it and everyone expects it. So like they could have planned for that. Except except against us. Well, no, he got injured. <laughs> he, he got injured. Yeah, one. yeah. I Big shout Chris out Chris Carter. Uh, okay. uh, Hank was gonna beat you guys. Hank was gonna beat. I don't you know. Guys I think so it would have been a closer series than it was. It would have been. It would have. Well, Tukarski played really good. He played. Okay. Tukarski played but really the, good. But the Habs are like, like, unequivocally a completely different team in front of Price. Yeah. Like, I I watch them play in front of Price, and I watch them play in front of anybody else. Uh, Allen not as bad actually, but like even in front of Allen, they look like a different team. They make different passes. They make different plays. They just look yeah. worse. They look less confident. In front of any other goalie, so I think that's a problem as well. Uh, but anyway, Nick, I do think you guys deserve that series. I'm, I'm not even trying to rehash that. I was very emotional yeah, about yeah, that we'll series, it, though. Yeah, yeah. But um, in the past, we, we can get to bring that up anyway. another time. But yes, um, but at <laughs> Toronto, I think yeah, this is as good as a chance as they've had. And to answer Papa, I did not pick Toronto to win last year. I said when they went up three one, I'm like they're blowing this. <laughs> I knew for yeah. a fact. I was like, they're blowing. Yeah. I was telling all my friends, like, they're going to blow this series. It's just going to happen. Yeah. And it mm-hmm. did. But now, eventually, you got to learn from it. And where I see them right now is where Washington was right before they won the cup, when yeah. nobody expected them to do anything. Mm-hmm. And everyone was calling them soft. Everyone was saying, oh, Vetchkin can't play in the playoffs. Backstrom can't yeah. play in the playoffs. They can't get it done. They can't get it done. They're... Everybody gave up on them. And a Bang! Out of nowhere, they won the cup. I was so happy. So I'm not saying I don't know if Toronto gets the cup, but they're gonna get through a round. They're gonna get through. They've been playing like Critter is saying in chat there. They've been getting through rounds here. They're, they've been playing. You know, they haven't been winning, but they've been playing each year in the playoffs. Yes. You're gonna learn something eventually. And you know, each year that these guys get in the league, that's more and more experience, and eventually they're gonna have to break through. They have to. Yeah, and they're, and they, they're too good. They're too good not to break through. And, and they yeah. have they have enough depth too. They have mm-hmm. they have the guys. They have a good team. You know, it, yeah. really, if you just take the Toronto Maple Leafs logo off of that sweater and just sent that team on the ice, everyone would be like, "Come on, they got to win." Like it's just because it's the Leafs, so everyone you know, they're easy to mm-hmm. beat up on. You know. Yeah, it's a good point. But, and like I think I think they're definitely missing one more piece on that blue line. I think I think if they can upgrade Justin Hall to someone better than him. And have that same top four, Riley, Muzz, and Brody, and someone else better than Hall. That team is really, really good. And yeah, Nick, I think you make a great point. Like, just because it's the Toronto Maple Leafs and everyone thinks they have a jinx, they're just everyone just doubts them. And that definitely leaves the yeah. players down themselves. So I think they, I think they are in the best position possible to win around this year. Um, and I think they're just missing that one extra piece to take them over the edge on as a right-handed shot. Their best right-handed shot on the blue line is either Lilligren or Justin Hall, and that's not good enough. I know Brody plays the off wing, but like you need you need at least one guy up there who can play the right side really well and with a right-handed shot. It does make a difference. I've, we've all played hockey. I, yeah. Well, yeah, we all played hockey before. I punch him sure you played as well. Um, like being a right-handed shot on the right side is different than a left-handed shot on the right side. It's much harder uh, to corral pucks off the boards. It's much harder to play the play your position when you're an off wing. So it works for certain players, but I think Toronto can improve that as well.